Are you struggling with the agenda for your kickoff meeting? Are you worried that your team might not find value in what you put together? If so, I got your back. I'm gonna outline three main questions that you need to answer, and if you do, your team will rave about your meeting the entire year. Let's dive in. It's that time of year. Most leaders are planning their kickoff meeting with their team. Your kickoff meeting is an important event because it sets the tone for the year ahead and it helps ensure that everyone is on the same page. I fielded several calls lately which prompted this um, on how to make this year's kickoff meeting even better than last one. Many of our discussions have centered around what they as a leader should focus on. Without question, there are some basic do's and don'ts that I feel are important. There are also three key questions that you have to answer that are percolating in the minds of your employees. And if you do, your kickoff meeting will be a huge success and everyone will rave about it. Hang in with me because I'm gonna unpack those questions in a minute. Before I do, I wanna review some of the basic meeting do's and don'ts for your yearly kickoff meeting with your team. First, Thank them for their commitment and contributions over the past year. Before discussing the year ahead, spend a few minutes and do a year in review. Highlight the key accomplishments, successful projects, and team contributions. Saying thank you will go a long way. Those who feel appreciated always do more than expected. Second, clearly define the goals and objectives of the team for the coming year. This will give everyone a sense of direction and help them understand what needs to accomplish and why it is important. See, explaining why is critical. And it's often the overlooked piece. Why helps to put everything else you're gonna share and, and the decisions you're gonna make into context. Third, you should prioritize key projects and or initiatives, including any important milestones and deadlines. See, this will help everyone understand what needs to be done and how their scope of work contributes to the overall success of the company. And fourth, you should establish or reestablish where necessary ground rules for communication and collaboration, such as regular check-ins and updates. This because this simply ensures that everyone stays on the same page and works together. There are also a few things a leader should avoid doing, right? First, a leader should avoid being overly negative or critical. While it's important to address any challenges or obstacles the team may face, right? Focusing too much on these issues can create a negative atmosphere. And when you do that, you demotivate the team. Second, a leader should avoid making unrealistic promises or setting impossible goals. This can create just and expectations that are just simply unrealistic and put unnecessary pressure on the entire team, which often leads to burnout and drives morale down. Third, a leader should avoid talking too much and not allowing enough time for team members to ask questions or provide their input. This can make a team members feel ignored or undervalued and can lead to a lack of engagement and motivation. Those in my mind are just some of the basics of having it's not just a kickoff meeting, any meeting. Let's now unpack what success looks like from your team's perspective. See, success in the minds of your employees is often driven, driven by the combination of a ton of different factors, and it may vary from team to team. But there are, however, three main questions that you need to answer. And if you do, your team will rave about your meeting the entire year. See, these questions dive into the psyche of those attending your meeting. There are three key questions, and they are this. Did I learn something personally? Did my team benefit? And did I make a positive contribution? It's that simple, right? Let's unpack this further. First, are you creating an educational opportunity to develop important skills or raise awareness to something they didn't know previously? Is there a chance to network with others who can support their job responsibilities? Is there a forum to ask questions and solicit feedback. Next, are the topics relevant to the team? Will the discussions help their team to become more productive and or efficient? 
Are you providing an opportunity to workshop some basic business challenges as a group? And third, are you fostering team participation and collaboration? See, everyone wants a voice, and your job as a leader is to give them that platform to share their thought leadership in a positive and constructive way. The larger the number of attendees in your meeting, the more creative that you're gonna to need to get. Here are a couple of tips. First, breakouts are an excellent way to get others participating in a smaller form. And if you do that, create a list of questions ahead of time that will stimulate discussion. Attaching team meetings right before or after a kickoff meeting itself is a great opportunity to workshop business specific issues. And if so, consider pairing newer employees with, with more experienced team members and give them a challenging task to workshop. Bringing an outside speaker in to inspire and educate is also a fantastic way to increase personal value. Having an outside voice reinforce the high performance habits and behaviors that drive success will create a great motivational experience and stretch their thought process. If you want more help in making your kickoff meeting, one to remember, follow the link in the description and book a call. If you want to develop courageous leaders in your business who can effectively uh, adapt to whatever changes and challenges emerge, go to Sea Level Freedom and I will show you how to transform your leaders into growth champions so they free up your time to do what you love most, growing the business and increasing its valuation. If you're not at that stage yet, I'd like to buy you a copy of my book, Freedom to Experiment how to ignite a new level of energy, focus, and momentum in yourself and your team. Follow the link in the description and I'll personally sign a copy for you. Okay, if you like what I shared today, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, share a comment related to your business, and of course subscribe because each week I'm sharing content to help you and your team embrace change, focus your efforts, and accelerate results. Remember this, you're just one idea away. I'll talk to you soon.